I'm Miriam Margulies. I've always thought it's much more important what you put into your mouth than what comes out of it. So it's alarming when you find out that a food you're told is essential to good health and well-being is actually not. It's the opposite. What is more dangerous is when the truth is withheld or discarded in favour of profit, potentially doing harm. I'm talking, of course, about industrially farmed Tasmanian Atlantic salmon. Not that this fish has ever swum in the Atlantic, nor, for that matter, swum anywhere, but in a cage, fin to fin, with thousands of its kin. Farmed Tasmanian Atlantic salmon is a shadow of its wild cousin, genetically selected to be quick-growing for quick bucks, a Frankenstein fish, in fact. Eating this fish is not good for you. Its unnatural diet sees to that. Industrial preservatives, trans fats and saturated fats, all there as a result of the chicken feathers, beaks, feet, carcasses and additives used to make its breakfast, lunch and dinner. A farm Tasmanian Atlantic salmon ends up with more chicken fat in its body than an actual chicken. Their flesh is coloured for your dining pleasure and laced with chemicals which are banned elsewhere. Their round cages are a cauldron of disease and deformity that sits over a bubbling mound of filth that smothers the seabed and starves the water of life-giving oxygen. Farm Tasmanian Atlantic salmon is not a superfood. It's a super fat bomb. The trans fats in them are an industrial additive banned in the United States and condemned by our Australian Heart Foundation. A 200 gram serve of this salmon has more fat than a Big Mac and fries. I'm going to say that again. You need to hear it twice. A 200 gram serve of this salmon has more fat than a Big Mac and fries. The chemical preservatives they use are banned in all of the European Union as their safety is questioned. Think, if you will, of these toxins as they make their way into the breast milk of a nursing mother after eating this fish. A duty of care is required by all those that farm and grow our food. It's a right we're entitled to. Foods recommended as healthy must be just that, healthy. In the words of Charles Dickens, subdue your appetites, my dears, and you've conquered human nature. Don't buy Tasmanian Atlantic salmon, please.